So Bites. Hmm, it's elemental. Sauce Bites from Sauce Elements. How to Skype with Source Nexus on Mac OS X. You will need to create custom virtual audio drivers for Skype in Source Nexus Control. Open Source Nexus Control from your Mac menu bar. Click the plus button on the top right of the Source Nexus Control panel to create a new device driver. Name your driver to Skype and make sure it is two channel for stereo use. Click Done. Click the plus button again to create a second audio device driver. Call this From Skype and make sure it is two channel for stereo use also. Click Done. If you make a mistake, you can double click on the device you've created and you can change its name or its channel width. To delete a channel, simply hover your mouse over the device and an X will appear. Pressing that deletes the driver. Why have we done this? We have now created custom audio drivers within the Source Nexus world for Skype, so that when you go to Skype, you can use these as your input and output devices and then not really need to change them again, so it becomes set and forget. Now open Skype. Open its preferences by the commonly used Apple standard of Apple comma and select audio and video in the left hand list. Or you can also do this by going to the Skype menu bar and calling up audio and video settings. Select your camera. Mine is a C922. Scroll down to microphone and then select to Skype as your input to Skype. Personally, I choose to turn off the option to automatically adjust the microphone settings as I am a sound engineer and occasionally a grown up. I also opt to turn off noise cancellation as my studio is a quiet environment and I do not wish my audio feed to be adulterated. Now scroll down to speakers and in the options tab to the right select from Skype as your output device. I tend to turn the output slider to about 8. Now go to Pro Tools or your digital audio workstation of choice. Open or create a new session. When you've opened or created the session, go to Setup in the menu bar and choose I.O. This opens up the I.O. setup page for the session. Click on the bus tab. Select New Path towards the bottom left. This opens up the New Paths window. Create two new stereo paths by selecting the correct options and then click the blue Create button. When the bus paths are created, they will appear in the bus path list. Select the first one's name box, in this case bus 1 and 2, to highlight it. Double clicking will select the text and make it editable. Type to Skype and then hit return. Select the next bus you've created, in this case bus 3 and 4, and repeat the process, naming it from Skype. Getting the plot here? Click the OK button at the bottom right of the I.O. window to close it. You will now need to create a new AUX track in Pro Tools. There are several ways to do this. Number one, control double click either in the left hand side track list of the edit window or the mix window. Two, press shift command N, which will bring up the new tracks window. Press command and the sideways arrow or use your mouse to select stereo. Press command and the down arrow or use your mouse to select AUX input. Press Tab to tab to the name box and enter Skype. Press Enter or mouse the blue Create button. Select your channel colour poison of choice. I will go with a Skype blue. Turn the automation off by selecting Off in the Automation tab drop down. You now need to select the input to the AUX channel. Move your mouse to the IO input tab in the Skype AUX channel and select Bus, and select To Skype. This means that anything sent or routed to the To Skype bus 
will feed this Skype AUX track. Make sure the output tab of the AUX channel is routed to your hardware monitoring output. If you want to record the other end, we may change this later. Now select an insert slot at the top of the Skype AUX input channel. I choose B. You need to instantiate a Source Nexus stereo plugin. There are several ways to do this. 1. Click your mouse on the slot that you want and start typing Source Nexus, and Pro Tools will automatically suggest and select the stereo option with blue. Hit return. 2. Clicking on the insert slot and select either multi channel native plugin other Source Nexus stereo or multi channel native plugin Source Elements Source Nexus stereo. Now select the Source Nexus plugin to open it. Click the Send drop down menu and select the driver to Skype that you have created earlier. Click the Receive drop down menu and select the driver from Skype that you created earlier. Now to test the Nexus Skype audio drivers, either create a test tone generator in slot A of the Skype AUX input or route a microphone to the to Skype bus. I will show you both ways. 1. Click your mouse on slot A, the slot before Source Nexus plugin, and start typing Signal Generator. And Pro Tools will auto suggest the option with blue. Hit Return. Or, number 2, click on the Insert slot A, the slot before the Source Nexus plugin, and select either Multi Mono Native Plugin, Other, Signal Generator Mono, or Multi Mono Native Plugin Avid, Signal Generator Mono. It defaults to generating a minus 20 dB sine tone at 1 kHz. Open the Source Nexus plugin and you should see this tone being sent to the send side of the plugin, which is going to Skype. Alt tab to Skype to make Skype the foreground active app. Open the audio and video preferences and you should see the microphone tone level showing with blue dots. Scroll to the speakers selection and press the test audio icon and you should hear the familiar Skype ringtone being played. Oh joy! When you're satisfied, deactivate the test tone by clicking the square test tone icon to make it triangular again. Now that you have finished with the test tone, right click the signal generator insert in the mix or edit windows and make it inactive. The second method was to use a microphone. Create a new mono aux channel by using one of the earlier methods. Turn the automation off by selecting off in the automation tab drop down. Name it mic. If you don't want to hear your own mic, route the output to the to Skype bus that you've created earlier. Alternatively, for a slightly more flexible solution, route the output to a dummy bus, a bus that is routed to nowhere, and use a send to get to the to Skype bus. Tap the mic or speak to check the levels and you should see the meters move on the to Skype bus and its Source Nexus plugin input and then correspondingly in the Skype app itself too. If you want to record your own mic, create a new track, Mic Record, and route that to your monitoring output. You can create a new bus, Mic Record, and route the microphone to that. To hear yourself, either select the Record Track to Input Monitor, or be in Quick Punch Record Mode which you can either select in the Options menu or Shift Apple P or even Shift click the Record Square in the Transport menu until you see a P. Or you can right click the Record Square to bring up the Record Options and select it. The track, when it's in Quick Punch Record mode, will auto switch to monitoring its input in Stop or Record and in Playback to Play just like a multi-track tape machine in auto input mode. If you want to record the output of Skype, your remote end, you can create a new bus, Skype record, and route a send to that. 
Create a new track called Skype Record. Make its input the Skype Record bus and route its output to your monitoring if you want to monitor via the record track. If not, mute the record track output or fade the output fader down. You can test your routing by using the output test button in Skype and checking the meters in the Skype record track. Source bytes, small, easily digestible testing knowledge nugget videos to help your remote workflow. Source bytes, hmm, it's elemental. Source bytes from source elements.